And I remember that this part of the song, this part of the song, wait, this part of the song was used by the cheerleader, cheerleaders group. I did. I was like, oh my god, I feel like I could be a really good cheerleader. <laughs> and they were like this. Only that we were going to talk about my family, so I think we already talked about my family. So let's come, let's move forward. So, Chicken Kara, Chicken Kira, Boyacá, Colombia. Uh, that's the place where I, I mean, that's the town where I live, where I, ra where I was raised, and uh, where I grew up. I loved it. I loved it because that was the town where I spent most, most of my childhood. And uh, made who made me who, who I am. I was surrounded by so many culture over there, like like native, really Colombian culture. It's not that Bogota doesn't have like 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 a like a proper cultural context, but when you grow in a little town like Chiquinquira or I don't know. You tell me where are you from, and, and, what, and what did you learn in your in your town that you cannot learn in Bogota, or, did you, or that you cannot like explore um, as far as you would like to explore in Bogota. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, as I told you, my mom was a dancer, and um, I'm telling you, like she was because she's not longer a dancer. She she decided to become a teacher. Um, but yeah, I mean, she, I was, uh, fortunately, I was like surrounded by this cultural, um, uh, context. Um, my, my mom took me all, to all of her trainer, trainings, to all of her dance classes. And that was for, for that was folklore, folklore classes. Um, and I'm going to show you later, I'm going to show you later. What are, is that about? What what is the, the type of folklore music that we have in in the like in the Boyacá um, department? <laughs> so cute. Boyacá is like the state. It's like a state. It's like a, or like a, or like a county or like um yeah like uh, a county. I don't know if it's that is exactly a county. You read him. British people tell me if it's, if it's exactly a county. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna research about that. But it's like a state, like a province in 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 Argentina. It's like provincia. Um, I don't know how it's called in another country, like in Mexico. In I don't remember how it's called in 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 Peru, for example. Is it any Peruvian guy or girl who can tell me? Okay, but Boyacá is like a, like a state, and it has like their certain it, it has its certain type of music and 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 costumes and yeah, 
and food. But I'm I'm talking I'm gonna talk about exactly the me the music like the musical context of Colombia because music in 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 Colombia is a huge thing. I can say I can say that I mean as uh, it's comparable to what happened in Argentina with theater. That's that's why I moved to Argentina. But here in Colombia, we are so m musical. We are, we love music. We, I mean, all of the cultures has like a really, have like a really, how to say that, musical identity. I mean, we, we here in Colombia are really different, really, really, um, um, we are so, uh, wait, I'm going to, I'm going to look, I'm going to look for that word in, in the, to translate like um well, well we're so different like depending on the region depending on i mean for example the the, the north coast or the east east west east coast yeah east coast pacific coast i mean um it's quite different that the north coast um we have two coasts by the way two see two oceans we have like Atlantic oceans and Pacific uh, Pacific Ocean and uh, here like the interior people like people from the mountains like me uh, like Bogota like, uh, like 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 the interior of the country has is like a different like totally different culture we we have like a really but diverse diverse culture so um, it's really rich. I mean, music is really huge. In, it's, it's a really huge thing in, here in, in Colombia. And I love it because I love music since I was a child. I was, as I told you, my parents, well, my, my mom took, took me to the dancers classes, dance classes, to the dance classes. And my dad, or my Alberta, uh, took me to, um, well, he, he was at the university, he was te his teacher, uh, university teacher, and um, sometimes he took me to some classes, uh, so I heard so many things that I didn't have a clue what meant, what, what meant, but, <laughs> but I just heard it, and I think that helped me grow, helped me, I don't know, be Sebastian, be, be me. And uh, he definitely, he is a really music lover. So he also he loved music. He he actually he told me like, hey, I'm I'm quite frustrated because I would like to be. I I would like to be a musician someday, but my parents didn't support me, so I became a teacher. I wanted to become an arch an architect 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 as uh, as well, but something happened. And he just finally became a teacher. Um, but he saw that talent in me. Um, yeah, he, he just saw that I loved music, I loved painting, I loved art, basically. And he bought me whatever you can imagine that he could ever afford. Like, he bought me guitars, he bought me, he bought me, like, paints, he bought me, he bought me, um, all of the material that we used to, to paint and to draw and, and I don't know how to call that, like, like, ling, inks, different inks, the if different type of inks, I'm gonna research about that theme as well. Mm, so, he bought me, like, all the brushes on, and all the paper and the, and the, um, that is like a special paper he bought. He bought me. Uh, yeah, it was like let, let me tell you. Our, our paper board, cardboard. He bought me cardboard, and and I and I and I paint. I just told you. I'm gonna show you later my my paintings, my drawings, and um. Mm, so there were really happy days. There were really happy days. I loved my childhood. Um, 
well, besides so many other things that I did in Jinkara, it was, I felt really free. I felt really free. I, I felt like I was really happy. My child was, was really happy, fortunately. I'm going to show you how did I dance. Or what would I dance? What, what, what did I dance? I remember I learned to step a dance move that I don't know how to call that in, 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 in not even in Spanish, but I'm going to show you that. Uh, it will be something like this. <laughs> I'm going to translate like literally what does that this, this song talks about. Come, come, girl of my love. Come, come, come to me come, Cause I'm waiting you with love Waiting you with Come my little darling Cause I'm waiting you with love Girl of my love Come, come, girl of my love I'm gonna show you the, the dance moves Cause they were really cute It's a really cute dance here Cause I'm waiting you with And then there was this dance move that I just asked my mom uh, like how would how would it, how would she call that dance move because I didn't know that but it's basically like a swing like this So I don't know if you if you see that But it's like this I need to cut, I need to cut the hat and do like this movement with the girl. That was really cute. It was really cute. I had a really good time with that. So, when I came to Bogota, um, it was like a really drastic change. Uh, because it is a city, it is a huge city, and it has another culture. Our children were like completely different than me. Uh, and I was me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, but I never lived. Well, but I never left my personality. I never left my, my, my preferences I never left what I liked what I enjoyed so I just kept being me and I danced with the girls and I it was completely natural to me because that was what that was what I did in Chinkra back in Chinkra I mean it was completely natural to dance with a girl and to dance with like dancing and, and no but here I mean here in Bogota that was like a, a scene I remember all of all all of the children in my class. They were like, "What are you doing, Sebastian?" Or oh, he's like, "He's gay." Ah, oh, he likes boys. Oh, 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 come on, come on! Just because you dance with a girl, really? Oh my God, that's so cute. <laughs> that's really cute. But no, I was just gay because I was like that. It doesn't matter if I danced with a girl or if I, or if I didn't. I mean, it doesn't have to do anything with that. I was who I was, and I am who I am. Mm. But... I felt like I was alone. Like I was... Discovering a world. Um, <laughs> it was weird. It was weird. But that this, all this is to tell you that how music, how, how important is music in my life. And I discovered, uh, I told you in a previous video, uh, when I, the first, the first time I heard Britney, the girl of my eyes, the, the, the girl of my apple, of my, of my apple, the apple of my eye. Well, I, I don't remember the how I said that, <laughs> the apple. Okay, the apple of my eye was Britney. I loved her. I loved her. I learned a lot. I learned, actually, I learned English. 
with Britney. Oops, I did it come to your home, got lost. I, I remember I learned past tense with Britney. I did it again. And I asked my teacher, Enriqueta, hey, what, what, what does did mean? What, what's that? What's that? What, what's the meaning of did? You see? So, um, and besides Britney, there were a lot of music, a lot of artists. Um, and yeah, I, I learned, I kept learning and listening to new music. And I loved it. But I wanted to tell you that one of the things that pushed me to learn English and to push me to to learn this this language is music. I'm blue, but I'm a dee, I'm a die, and I'm a dee, I'm a die, and I'm a dee, I'm a die. Do 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 do. A dee, I'm a die, and I was like, what the hell? That song, that song means. I'm blue, and I'm a dee, I'm a die, and I'm a dee. I was like, I remember that was frustrating because I didn't understand anything. I I didn't I had a clue what that guy was saying. I was like. Gosh, am I that bad English? I, I, I need to keep practicing. I need to keep like, uh, yeah, because I, I've got to understand that that lyric. I'm a bird, I'm a deed, I'm a dad, and I'm a deed, I'm a dad. And I was like, what the hell that means? And then I figured out that they were not telling anything. That was cool. That was cool. That was it. I don't know what do I have here. It's like, hmm. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button and please hit the bell. I've learned that it's quite important for you to hear the bell, cause it will let you know whenever you, whenever I record a new video and whenever I post a new video. Uh, whenever you want to hear me uh, talk in English and if you find it useful and if you think that it could be like a good way uh, to help you learn English just stay tuned and how do you stay tuned just by clicking on the subscribe button